Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about build surfaces, uh, mainly because it, it interests me so much. So the build surface that it normally comes with is one of these, and I have found it to be not too bad, the good old stick-on tape blue things. The only problem that does really happen with them is obviously they do wear out, but they seem to last fairly well. Although sometimes you do find it actually sticks to the print when you when you remove it. But what actually happens, and you can see this on uh, in this picture, it actually gets bubbles in it. Now the bubbles on here, obviously you take this off and you stick it on the build surface in it, and it is flat. But the continual heating and cooling of the build plate results in that bubbling are actually much worse than that bubbling happening on the build thing and you can kind of push it out with your fingers but it becomes too bad to deal with so you can just replace the blue tape by then or you can go to something else now on the forums everyone says glass 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 and I was amazed to find out there was actually something else other than glass which is PEI PEI yeah, I think so piece of plastic sheet uh, which I've actually got on there it's this funny color because it's got a protective film on both sides it uh, you buy it like this it's 0.8 I think or 0.6 of a mil thick uh, and that is very good that means that you can put it on top of your build plate and still use the original um, sensor as opposed to having to put something on much butier massive to be able to detect the aluminium through the thicker glass now I wasn't really a fan of the glass because of the way the auto leveling works. If you don't have an auto leveler, that's fine, and this is kind of irrelevant. But the auto leveler take, um, measures the aluminium plate below the glass, and, that, and if that has a convex or concave shape or whatever, then that will differ from the glass, and in theory Potentially this will concave and bow or whatever with that continual heating and cooling. So I actually didn't like the idea of putting a glass on there because I don't like the fact that these auto levelers actually ignore the glass and work on the aluminium below it. You can get a touch sensor, but they don't work with the Tronics Y default board. The other thing I'm not a fan about the glass is that it adds a significant amount of weight to the printer. And that becomes a problem with this whole inertia and shaking the job. It makes it worse. Uh, the further away you get from the, the build surface, the worse that gets. And I'm currently printing one of these, which you can't even see on this screen because it's going to reach 230 millimeters off the top, off the ground. And this continual flexing uh, is not a good thing, which is actually why since I've auto leveler, I've removed the, the bolts not the bolts, the springs out of there and hard mounted it because you've already got the auto leveler anyway uh, and you can still adjust this way because you can adjust these two screws the other thing is I didn't like about the fact is you people used bulldog clips it just seems bad and I know I'm burning all my bridges ever by saying why well, I didn't go glass the other reason uh, is that how do I get glass now everyone's going to go oh you just go down to Lowe's your local hardware store and you just go and buy it. What's the problem? Um, the problem is that's probably 13,000 kilometers away from me. I'm in New Zealand. I can't go to a local hardware store and buy a piece of glass to put on my printer. I could find someone that could do it if they were prepared to, to be bothered to do it for me. And I'm sure that would cost me quite a lot. Strangely enough, you can actually buy glass from AliExpress and they will send it to you. Which... I almost wanted to do just to see if I would actually receive it without getting broken because seriously a piece of glass flat glass sent to me from China Bilisica, Bilisica, oh, I can't say it um, so I ended up going PEI the it has pretty much amazed me because you do not need to put any glue stick or any other rubbish on it it sticks to it PLA it sticks to it like insanely awesome just so well better than i could dream of unfortunately the first few times i had the i hadn't raised the nozzle enough and you actually couldn't get it off the bed and i had to break the parts to get them off 
but I like the fact you don't have to stuff around with any kind of um, glue sticks or cleaning or any hoo-ha. The one thing that does is a slight drawback is that since it is plastic, if you uh, if the nozzle touches it, it will melt it. And when I was originally installing it, somehow I managed to actually burn two little holes into it. That's not a huge deal. Installation-wise, uh, basically I'm a moron, so I kind of struggle with this stuff. It comes with some 3M double-sided tape which is theoretically easy to put on but not really well, the first time I tried to do it I, I didn't get it quite straight and then I tried to pull it off and that was just a complete disaster so there were lots of mm, not too nice words in there and that's why I've got a spare piece of plastic but not a spare sticker um, this has held up incredibly well I haven't had a problem with it dying but I presume it will at some point uh, and so I would actually recommend PEI especially for people that are not in the US and can't just go and get a piece of glass uh, because as far as I can tell it's it's awesome it sticks without having to add glue stick or any other kind of rubbish on it uh, it ends up with an incredibly shiny surface that gets stick, stuck to it that you remove it doesn't have some of the problems of using glass whether or not you agree with those or not but those are theoretical problems with it then but yeah PEI give it a go I'll chuck a link in the description and you can try it out yourself alrighty guys we'll see you in the next one see you later bye bye